Lord. How y'all doing? Should we do this again? I said, good Lord. How y'all doing? That's what I'm talking about. Why would you just say that the first time? That's when I know I'm back in Minnesota. You have to repeat yourself. How you doing? How you doing? Doing good! Flying on a plane, you know, I'm sitting, flying myself back there from Minneapolis to uh, Los Angeles and from Los Angeles on to Hawaii, because that's how I wrote. <laughs> Take a break. You don't fly all the way. You stop and you hang out and then you get on another plane and you go the rest of the way. Well, I'm sitting in first class because I really don't know what else is behind that curtain. <laughs> well, you don't fly first class? You ain't got to do it but once and you'll find a way to stay up there, baby. <laughs> Go back there with the common folk. <laughs> they won't serve you peanuts back there like somebody got an allergy. <laughs> I want my peanuts. Just keep that little allergenic for me. <laughs> so I'm sitting next to this cat in first class, man, and he looks at me and he's like, what do you do? You know, and I'm like, he's all up in my business. You know, like, you know, I'm a chatty guy, I'm cool, I like, I'm a comedian, I like talking to people. But I like to initiate the conversation. So he caught me off guard. He said, what do you do? I said, well, I'm a comedian. And then what's the first thing they ask you when you, when they, you tell them you're a comedian? No! This is what people in first class ask you. Wait, can I ask you a question? What did I say I was doing? Well, I said I'm a comedian. You don't ask questions. Say no press conference. He like you. This is Oprah. No. He said, "This is a true story." He said, "You ever know what it's like to actually have someone fart? Wait for it and not smell it." <laughs> to put my beats by Dre on right now because I'm done listening. <laughs> this cat, I'm sitting next to a cat who invented a product called the butt muffler. <laughs> the butt muffler. <laughs> so immediately I look it up. I'm trying, I'm Googling it. I'm like, I can't believe this. This is a product. Where is this country going? I'm interested now. I'm into a fart story. <laughs> We all know someone. We all know someone that needs a butt muffler. <laughs> and if you don't know who that person is, you're that person. <laughs> so I'm at home and I'm driving to LA with my buddy. And he's a fighter. A fighter. Everybody knows a fighter. You got that friend who can just fart, you get in your car, they lock the windows. <laughs> This product is for you. I gave it to him. And we drove from Newport Beach to Los Angeles. Didn't smell a thing. Best drive ever. I'm like, three weeks later, after I met this cat, I'm flying from LA to Minneapolis. I'm sitting next to a guy in first class. Again, because that's how I roll. Dude, sitting next to me, fell asleep. And he was one of these like <laughs> You know what, I'm like 1001, 1002, but if you get the three, he don't do it, he dead. You know, I'm like, I got extra leg room. Dude was like, he's like <clears throat> And this is a true story, I'm not making this up. He farted so loud <laughs> that it woke him up. He was scared to death too. He was like, he was like and it was like, he was like, he looked, he looked directly at me. I'm like, yeah, dude, it was about as loud as it felt. Everybody in this whole area, we heard it. Everybody, they heard it back, back, back in the back with the common folk. He needed a butt muffler because it, it got ranked up in there real fast.